Hello, this is the dead of winter, and I'm wearing short sleeve shirts, which means I am not in Pennsylvania. I'm down in Florida, and I'm traveling around here, and I'm at one of these gorgeous lakes. I was here, oh, about a year ago, at this very lake, and others. And I did a few videos from down here in Florida back then, and now I'm back again. Tepid 70 degrees, and nothing like up in Pennsylvania, where it's below freezing. And I'm here to talk about and really to un unpack these coins. We've been doing a whole series of coins. I've done six videos on coins and uh, four of them have been answering your questions, some really good questions. And what I'm doing is I'm going through and I asked you to do this and thanks for responding. I've asked you to go ahead and to ask questions, come back at me with some of the things that I've been saying. This is brand new material and that's why we need to have it peer reviewed and this is a sort of peer reviewing is what we're doing here back and forth back and forth uh, i put the material out there you throw questions at me i respond to them i try to make sure that i am understanding and uh, giving a response that sits with the question you're referring to and as we do this uh, that helps me it helps you it helps those who are listening and it helps this whole discussion moving it forward this back and forth peer review. We're doing it on the internet, obviously. And normally, this is done by articles that people write, and it can take months, can take years. This way, it's much quicker, and we're going at it back and forth uh, with you and me and the others who are involved. And so what I want to do now is rather than just throw questions at you, I've gone through and I've been finding quite a few comments, which shows me that you're getting it. And this is exciting to me because I, sometimes you put this new material out there, you put material concerning, in this case, the coins, and you wonder if any of the of those who are watching, those of you who are watching these videos, whether or not you really get it. Well, the numbers, the enormous numbers of hits of people who are viewing it shows me that you are. But what really gets me excited is when I look at the comments below the videos. And as I read the comments, I see comment after comment of people who are getting it. And so what I want to do in this video is to share some of these comments with you because it helps you to realize not only that others are getting it, but then as they comment, you will get it as well. There goes a speedster. Beautiful. One of these speedos. Boy, I'd love to be on one of those today. So let's go through some of these comments, and I'll give you the names of those who commented uh, just to uh, acknowledge them and the credit to them. Uh, the first one is by Odin Lafontaine from France, and I'll be getting in touch with him. Odin has already done a lot of this work. He is very much on top of these coins. He and his friends there in France, in some ways, are way ahead of us because they've been working it, it in French. Where I didn't even know who this Odin was until I put my, uh, until I put up the back about a month ago. I when I did the first live stream with Hatun on the coins and then I did the synopsis and Odin got in touch with me and said this is we're doing the same thing what I didn't realize I was even borrowing two of his pictures I didn't realize they were his pictures I just got them off of Google but he says this concerning the non-evidence and the, you know the the, uh, the idea that evidence is needed and he says that which is asserted without evidence can also be denied without evidence so if you assert something with no evidence you can also deny it without evidence as well so in other words it can be used both ways is what he's saying be careful and this has been a problem i think and we're going to get into this in some of the other comments that are coming up concerning that what islam has done for so many centuries they have always asserted material they have always asserted their own history and they've never needed evidence to support it and we've always just accepted it without any evidence uh, as in, uh, assuming therefore on our part that they had the evidence what we're now finding is they don't have the evidence Manny Fabin takes it one step further the questioner uh, this was Khan says sorry the questioner Damien says Ev absence of evidence isn't evidence of absence that's the phrase he used and that's what I titled the last video on the questioner doesn't seem to grasp a basic concept that the issue is not absence of evidence. It's that the evidence from the time, compounded by the lack of evidence of Muhammad, does not reflect the narrative of the origin of Islam. If archeological and historical evidence cannot account for Islam's origin as stated in the Quran, then that is a fundamental and core problem, a big problem. Jay, respect for keeping it light and polite, even when the dig he gave you in the with the gig he gave you in the last question. So what Manny is saying is, 
it's not a problem that there is lack of evidence. It's there evidence is there. That's the, why we're even bringing this up. For so long, we've never had the evidence, and we've always assumed the Muslims had the evidence. They didn't. They never really point to any coins or any literature or any archaeological structure that supported this narrative that we've always been hearing, uh, that there was a man named Muhammad, that he received a revelation from 610 to 632. We just assumed it, that that was correct. That we didn't ask for evidence. Well, we're asking for evidence, and that's what Manny Fabian is saying here. Evidence is now here. Therefore, don't say there's a lack of evidence. In fact, you're not even understanding what we're putting out there. We're putting out evidence. Another comment. Our bulwark is Jesus Christ says this. I don't know who he is. This is just his title. Not only do Islamic histories appear late, but the idea is widespread among Islamists, that is Western scholars of Islam, that the histories of Islam are tidied up versions of Islamic history, that is, Islamic history was reimagined by later Muslims. And that's exactly it. The classical narrative, remember, the classical narrative of how Islam began was only first tabulated, put down, written down in the 9th century by Ibn Hisham in 833, Al-Waqidi, 835, Al-Buhari in 870, Tirmidhi, Muslim, all of them come after 870, 875, and all up till Al-Tabari, and that's when the histories were really, really compiled in the, after, well, that was 923, so that's the 10th century, so that's much, much later. So you can see why we're, we're assuming that these were correct. We always assumed the classical narrative was correct. What we're now finding is that the, Nas, the classical narrative are anything but correct, and look and see, they're written so late, two to three hundred years. Why is it we never questioned this before? Lemuel Pitkin talks about this flaw. Thank you, Lemuel. This is very well done. I'll just read it. It's a long quote, but I think it's well worth reading. Regarding evidence-based science, Damien, the primary claim is that Islam is a religion that begins long before Muhammad and is then reasserted by Muhammad. This is what Islam claims. This is the positive assertion. What Jay is showing you, and everyone else is, that there is no evidence that Islam even existed as a religion until of the Malik. Worse than that, there is evidence that both Christian and Zoroastrian iconography and religious symbols are extant and accepted within the supposedly Islamic post-revolutionary lands of the Saracens. So your position that evidence is lacking by Jay to prove the negative case is backwards from a scientific standpoint. The burden of proof is on those making the positive assertion that Islams or Muslims were the precise movement that conquered these lands rather than this conquest simply being the product of Arab war bands. Science does not work on consensus or everybody knows presumptive thinking. So what he's saying basically is this whole classical narrative has been flawed from the very beginning. And that's why Muslims, rather than just yell at us and call us and say we don't have the evidence and evidence. because it's absent, does not mean that it's not evident. Well, these are great quotes, and uh, this shows that you are getting it. And I'm excited by this because, for me, this please shows me that not only are you getting it, but you're actually putting it, writing it down. And in writing it down, you're showing me, at least, that this is can we move forward. We're going to keep moving this forward. Listen, this is Jay here in Florida. Isn't it beautiful? I wish you were here with me. You'd love this kind of weather, and you'd love this kind of temperature. Over and out.